The house is really under a lot of fire, so to speak, Chicago fire. Um, but, you know, how much has Bowden taken this on himself? Like, does he feel responsible for a lot of the drama that's bringing all the heat? He does feel responsible. And, you know, like every great leader, I think, should want to try and carry the load. Um, and in this particular instance, he starts off trying to carry the load and uh, is going to find out that the load is way heavier than he thought it was. And that's going to drive him to a particular place. It's going to end up threatening his family in the end, and it's going to take him on a journey that hopefully you'll be able to follow him on, um, and you'll be able to see some of his darker sides, maybe, uh, and you'll be able to see some of his more vulnerable sides. You'll be able to see him not cope as well as you're used to him coping, and, and, and that's a very good thing for the show. You know, this is year four, so to be able to peel away the layers to give you the other side, you know, when we were doing it and talking it through with the writers, Whenever you saw Bowden at home, you got to see a little bit of who Bowden really was. But you mainly see him at the firehouse and he's very kept and he holds a very tight line. How much of that is him at work? It's a lot of him at work, it's not him at play. And so his wife got to see the real him. And that was a little bit where you could eke out some of the vulnerability. But now it's been pushed from outside forces. You're going to get to see most of it. I know as a viewer, it's very fluid when you guys pop up on each other's shows. How is it for you? Do you feel that or do the sets all feel a little different to you? No, there are some kinks. You know, I, I'm not going to lie and say it's, it's completely smooth. We're working a lot of stuff out. But if it comes across as smooth to you, that's what makes me happy. Um, we're still working that out. And there's going to come a point when it's a well-oiled machine.